as a unique field where you combine biosciences with information technology, bioinformatics offers a promising career choice for all of you. But the question to be asked is how bright the future is. Is it really going to be bright or not? Today's session, we're going to talk about exactly that. Now to start with, biotechnology and drug discovery go hand in hand. It's like, you know, twin brothers. You cannot separate them. Acceleration of drug discovery is very much needed because we know it runs very, very slowly. Now, bioinformatics plays a crucial role and it accelerates the wet lab process. Now, the wet lab is generally very slow, time-taking, and that is where we utilize the power of computers to accelerate the process of drug discovery by identifying and validating the potential targets. Now, followed by that, of course, bioinformatics is the real future of pharmacology. So we are here talking about the future of bioinformatics, but in truth, pharmacology's future is bioinformatics. Now, with the ever-increasing demand of new drugs, bioinformatics will be crucial for the future of pharmacology. There's no doubt about that. Now, moving ahead, bioinformatics and proteomics, they also go hand in hand. Now, protein identification, extensive study of proteins, and protein structure prediction is very, very important when it comes to proteomics. Now, bioinformatics provides necessary tools to identify proteins. It will help to become the backbone of the proteomics research. Now, followed by that, as an extensive study of prote proteins continues, the field of bioinformatics will continue to expand with vast utility. And of course, protein structure prediction. Bioinformatics technology allows the prediction of protein structure, making it easier to understand and interact with other molecules. So isn't it amazing? Bioinformatics is helping us win the world of proteomics as well. Now, followed by that, let's look at bioinformatics and cancer research. Now, cancer is one of the biggest challenge which we ever face in, um, I mean, ever faced by humanity, right? So what if we could foster a collaborative uh, nature of bioinformatics scientists, we could use, utilize the field of bioinformatics in cancer research and bring in international collaboration and data sharing. What if we could bring in big data analytics wherein vast amount of data which is being generated for cancer research is effectively analyzed in a collaborative manner by scientists uh, located in ge uh, different geographical places in the world. And that is that, that will lead to a faster, much more collaborative environment leading to important discoveries and potential cures. So I think bioinformatics and cancer research goes hand in hand as well. Well, what about computational systems biology and bioinformatics? Are they going to be together? Yes, they are also twin brothers. Now, computational systems biology, what is that? Implementation of computational systems biology and bioinformatics can provide a fundamental understanding of biological processes such as maintenance of homeostasis. Now, followed by that, of course, predicting the responses of stressors. Bioinformatics can be used to predict how biological systems will respond to environment, environmental stressors and a crucial application uh, it has in many fields as well. Now, as we know, bioinformatics can be utilized to analyze advanced uh, data sets. Advanced algorithms can be developed and these de algorithms are developed every day as we speak. And this can be used to process, analyze, and interpret vast amount of bi biological data, making it easier to understand and apply this knowledge. Will bioinformatics do anything for genomics research? Well, yes, you heard me right. Yes, genomics research is one of the most desired research in today's scenario. So identifying uh, desired results. So. The field of bioinformatics plays a crucial role as we speak in identifying and manipulating genetic traits to achieve desired results. And that, uh, for example, uh, elimination of diseases. So that is where you can utilize bioinformatics and genomics together. Now, followed by that, genetic research made easier. Now, bioinformatics technology and the algorithm we are using today for AI, ML, it will make it much easier to analyze large data sets and uh, large genetic data sets and uh, we will be able to discover new insights into the world of genomics. Now, followed with that, of course, is the increased longevity. Now, potentially, the application of bioinformatics in genomic research could lead to increased longevity through the identification and elimination of diseases. So, we identify the anomaly gene, we get rid of it, then obviously the aging doesn't kick in and we can live longer without any disease, right? Have you heard of immunoinformatics? Well, I guess you must have. So, vaccine development. 
right? You must have heard of Moderna, right? So bioinformatics technology is playing a crucial role in development of new vaccine treatments such as COVID-19. You must have heard of the COVID-19 vaccine by Moderna. They, that was exactly used by reverse engineering the viral DNA. mRNA vaccine was developed inside a computer and then synthesized in wet lab. In the fastest possible time, we got approval from FDA also. Right. So this means we can have a vaccine development at an exponential scale thanks to bioinformatics. What about industry? Like you know, biocatalyst, bioprocess engineering, right? So what are the industrial uses of bio? Informatics. Now, the genomic revolution which we just speak, spoke about is driving the use of bioinformatics in industrial biocatalysis. Now, with the advent of new technologies and algorithms which are being utilized to search, compare, and analyze internet databases for potential biocatalysts. So, this is one new emerging usage of bioinformatics as we speak. Now, there, there is a, a need and of course development, development is also going on for algorithms of discovery. Advanced algorithms are being developed to allow more efficient and thorough searches of internet databases of, for new uh, biocatalysis. And of course, new technologies are coming every day. More newer technology with the combination of AI ML is being implemented that will allow faster, more efficient screening of potential biocatalysts, making the process of discovering and utilizing them quicker and more cost effective. So it seems like, okay, we have a winner. Right. So uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Right. So bioinformatics is that winner, that champion, which is going to revolutionize every field. You name it, it has it. Right. So I spoke about proteomics, protein engineering comes next, designing new proteins. So, you know, quantum zyme, they're doing that. Right. Desi they're designing new enzymes. Right. At the quantum level, using bioinformatics. So designing new proteins, understanding the protein structure, understand how it will dock with the ligand and how can we make it even better, even more faster. That's what bioinformatics can help us. Now, followed with that, of course, we also have evolutionary biology. So if we can do a comparative genetic analysis or a comparative genomics, and we can identify the comparison of genetic traits of uh, various uh, tree species and evolutionary time scales. Now, followed by that, of course, phylogenetics. So the study of phylogenetics heavily relies on bioinformatics technology as we speak, making, a, making an expanding field with vast utility in the bioinformatics space. Now, of course, the detection of adaptive evolution. We always heard of Charles Darwin saying that the survival of the fittest, right? We also always heard that the smartest of the species will not uh, survive the uh, species which will adapt. But how this adaptation happened? What if we could utilize bioinformatics to detect adapted, adaptive evolution in between different species and pinpoint the genetic variations and find out what led to the alteration of gene in a natural way and leading to expression and function of adaptive to the new environment. So that's a great win again. Now, agriculture, as we speak, big mega companies like Bayer and Monsanto has been built out of agriculture today. But when we combine agriculture with bioinformatics, what we are seeing is application of bioinformatics has the potential to improve crop yield and reduce losses for, uh, from pests and diseases. Now, genetic modification if we can do at the gene level, it will be very crucial to achieve the desired traits in crops, allowing more efficient transfer of desired traits and reducing the negative impact on the environment such as CO2 overload. Next, I think uh, I can talk about is synthetic biology. Under synthetic biology, you have designing new biological systems. So we can use bioinformatics technology to uh, design and create new biological systems for specific applications such as creation of biofuels or drug delivery systems. Now, for, for that, we have to understand the complex systems first. Can we really do it? So bioinformatics can be used to better understand complex biological systems such as metabolic pathways and regulatory networks, allowing for the creation of more effective, more efficient synthetic biosystems. With this, we come to an end of our video. Now, one thing is very clear. Well, how is the future of bioinformatics? The answer is bioinformatics is the future of all the biologies which I just now spoke, correct? So, don't you think, if something is the future of all other biology, it is the future. It is the place where you should be. It is going to be the demand of the industry. At the same time, it will keep giving you money forever and it will be very cheap to do because you can do it right inside your laptop and of course, you can fall in love with bioinformatics because Biotechnica is having an internship for the same. So, if you are interested in bioinformatics, 
click the link below join our internship and summer training and we will train you we will give you the work experience and we will give you the recommendation we will place you into, into the right bioinformatics company what are you waiting for i'm waiting for you as a student come join us and we will win together all the best